So we currently have a lot of efforts uh, dedicated to targeting these, uh, the, 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 what we call the non-G-TLC mutations. So the ones where the the, the currently approved therapies, uh, so aracid and aracid, we know are ineffective. Um, some of these uh, some of these compounds are covalent indirect inhibitors from companies such as Revolution Medicine. Uh, we also have covalent uh, non-covalent inhibitors such as the the BI uh, such, such as compounds that are being developed by BI, uh, so bearing Engelheim. And we also have another interesting approach, which are protein degraders uh, from 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 companies such as Astellas. Uh, which are also being looked at with with some keen interest. So a lot of these drugs are still in early phases of clinical development. Uh, some of them have reported some interesting and promising safety signals, uh, but majority of them are still in early stages of clinical development. But we certainly look forward to ongoing clinical development of these compounds.